somebody called Vicky. Hi, Vicky, wrote a while ago and said, this technique you use for contacting the divine essence within you, this core, the healing and stuff like that, is very similar to a technique used by Joel Goldsmith. I had never heard of Joel Goldsmith. I don't know how I got to my age without having read any of his books. It's possible that because they're very religious, they didn't gain as much traction as other books. Apparently, he had pneumonia when he was a lot younger, and he went to a Christian scientist, was healed, and then became a Christian science practitioner himself. And he believed in this whole idea that your power for healing, for prosperity, for life to become harmonious for you, the power is within. This is your authority. And by spreading that energy out, you can not only, in theory, heal yourself, but you can heal others as well. I thought, I wonder what this guy's transition pictures are like. So I went into his energy, and I would say that these are probably the most perfect transition pictures I have ever seen in my two years of doing them. There he is. And when I went into his energy, he was... It was like he was on a Roman chariot. You know in Ben-Hur where they ride around the arena with horses. I didn't draw the horses, but they ride around the arena in these little chariots. He was on one of those. He was just going for it, racing ahead. This guy had a sense of exhilaration, a sense of joy, a sense of excitement about life. In the arenas, in the Roman arenas, they go around, of course. It's a circus. They go around. He didn't. He went straight into the wall, and that was that. When I followed him through into that symbolic cave I always see, he had splintered any remains of his ego by crashing into the wall. He was just floating in a sphere of splintered pieces of his ego. Whatever was left, that just dissipated and he was held aloft and free to move on. The tunnel that I always see, it's a kind of metaphorical tunnel leading to the light, had a very, very weird image to it because there were tongs, white tongs that came down like that, almost as if they were padding the tunnel for him in case he had doubt and fell onto the floor, but he just floated up over these tongs. And there was the light. There was no hesitation. He went straight into it and was gone. As far as I could tell, Joel Goldsmith had nailed it. He was at one with his essence. And that's where he lived. That's where he lived his life, at that point of connection with the divine. And by doing so, his passage from form to formless and then off towards ascension was flawless. This is what we seem to be working towards. Reducing the distance between who we are on the inside, where we're pure and perfect and divine, and who we claim to be on the outside with all our ego stuff and control issues and fear and shame, anxiety or whatever it is, all that sort of stuff. He had somehow figured out a way to narrow that gap. It's amazing. And finally, I took a look at John Durham, the special counsel appointed by Bill Barr to investigate the investigation into Trump's possible, or Trump campaign's possible collusion with Russia prior to the 2016 election.